think when I get a thousand subscribers, I think I'm gonna give away a, like a week. Today we're in southern Arizona looking for the Sonoran pronghorn. They dropped another 10 out here this year and that lion's been efficiently snacking on them. So we're gonna go out today and see what we can dig up, find a lion track or see if we can even find those uh, pronghorns. So don't forget to subscribe. You don't have to like the video yet, but if you do like it in the end, like it. Check out some other videos. Stay tuned. parked by the where they release the antelope we're gonna go poke around this where they uh, keep these antelope pinned up for a month before they release them see if I can see any tracks they're excited to get out Sydney yeah I'm already missing it out we got moon it was a ridiculously full moon. The pink moon. If anybody knows anything about the moon phases. The antelope are still in here watering, I imagine. It takes them just a little bit to uh, start wandering out. They only released 10 this last time. A mixture of bucks and does. So I'll probably have to shock Lucy, maybe yucky off of chasing antelope, but these antelope run 60 miles an hour. Fastest land animal in America. So I got a lion that runs that little mountain range there. It's a male, I believe. I'm no expert. And then I got a female runs this side. Holy moly, look how pretty that is. Lucy, using her nose. What is it, Yucky? Yucky just wanting to run like a maniac. It's amazing lions can even catch these, but I bet you they lay up and wait for them. See if they got any water. They usually, there's usually water over here. Well, see no antelope. You got you had hay in the trailer. What is it, guys? Let's see if there's any water. Yeah, water. Got the game channel. I think what I want to do today is just I'm gonna make me a big, big circle. I'm gonna ride over that way, circle that range, circle that range. Looks far away, but it's not mile or two i don't know if i'm gonna get all the way over to that range today but i'm gonna work it so we're gonna go straight north head to the west and circle back south if that lion's waiting for these pronghorns he's probably in the washes or <sighs> these Pronghorns don't typically get up in the mountains. They stay in these little flatlands down here. So I'm gonna go ride a lot of these little washes, see if I can't find a track. See if I can't track out these animals. The, the tracks are coming from the south. The vodka dancing around. You smell them antelope? Why don't you smell a lion? Don't worry about the goats. 
My saddle looks crooked already. Let's get to it. Well, I'm running along here looking for tracks. I'm going to tell you a little bit of something about these Sonoran pronghorn and the program. So listen up. So here's a little bit of information about the Sonoran pronghorn. Back in, I don't know, 1967, I believe, they were one of the uh, first species declared endangered under the Endangered Species Preservation Act. The Sonoran antelope were definitely built to survive the heat and the drought conditions of Arizona. In 2002, there was a pretty severe drought that knocked the Sonoran pronghorn numbers down to like 20, 21. Contrary to what some of you might think of the Arizona Game and Fish Department, their semi-captive breeding efforts has actually been a pretty dang successful in Arizona. I think their numbers are up to about 140. Here's a little fun fact about these uh, crazy critters. They're able to run up to 60 miles per hour, making them one of the fastest land mammals in North America. You might know their cousin's American pronghorn. Well, these pronghorn are just a tad bit smaller. And because they have pretty much adapted to the driest region on this continent, they're really good at going long periods without water. Their survival is based on their diets of shrubs, forbs, trees, and a few, uh, few certain types of cacti. And the reason they can do this, and you might ask, how can they survive on this? Well, it's because they got a four-part stomach, which helps them to digest it all. Besides being crazy fast, they have phenomenal eyesight, and of course, the pronghorn. Uh, they're pretty jumpy. Besides the drought taking its toll on these critters, human development, loss of their natural habitat, has also played a huge part in the early decrease of their numbers. And I believe Mexico has a larger population than uh, we do. From what I'm seeing on the internet, they have anywhere from four to 600. Again, conflicting stories if you're looking on Google. Pretty amazing creatures if you ask me. I've been trying to alternate dogs and get them out tough when you got a job. Jobs are stupid. Jobs for poor people. I don't want to be poor. I'd like to run up and down each one of these washes. I just think if he kills something, he's going to drag him to one of these trees in the washes. Man, it's a beautiful morning. Beautiful morning. Got the sun coming up and the moon setting. I can't get over how pretty it is. This is this is when the desert calls me back, but it's a trick. And then the summertime, I don't like being here. Ugh. Steep, scorching hot. I think this year would be a good year though. A lot of vegetation. I think the hunting will be good in the fall. Trashy. My vodka dog is trashy, but She's a bear hunting sucker. I just gotta keep. She's a, she's a good uh, backup bear hunting. Like she'll back dirty up. Her and Dirty has treated a lot of bears by themselves, just off a rig, and then boom, caught. I'm gonna head to that little, little tiny hill right there. Man, I could ride all day today. I just might. Here's a stupid moment story. So I got in my truck, headed out halfway here and realized, oh shoot, I was supposed to get fuel. So I only had a quarter tank and then I passed my first road because I was pondering stuff in my mind. I had to go to the next one, turn around, come back and then I passed my other road this morning because I was just brain dead, I guess. And I turn around and I pop the tire. So you'll probably see a little clip of me changing that stupid tire. But there. There are original tires on that trailer and I always buy, uh, they're just like crappy trailer tires, probably low range C or D. I usually put E's on it. Oh, see, I like this wash right here. 
I might ride all the way up this wash. I've never like you don't see the you don't see this wash. It's a nice big wash. This is oh man. I might just skirt this wash. I might cross it and skirt it up. Steep. Steep with the bank. Oh, come on. Uh, she didn't want to go off that. No. Let's find a spot to go off. Probably could have went off that. Hey, what a hey, big wash. Go down hey, here. You can get off this. Hey, lock. Come on. Hey, lock. Come down. Come on, dirty. Just run under here. Nice one. <sighs> Go guys. You know what one of the worst things in the world is? Your saddle ain't sitting exactly right. <sighs> Drives me crazy. I'm gonna go right out to this little hill and come back to this wash maybe. That's a good wash. I'd like to go back to the east, drop, find out where this wash comes from and ride all the way up. There's a game water up here. Well, not a game water. They put in some solar tanks, which is great for out here. This is great country to hunt if, if you know it. But like that big wash, I didn't realize that big wash got into that deep right there. So I'm gonna have to come back on that one. You know, I always say oh, I'm out here just looking, um, but God, every time you go out, even if in a spot you've been out for 20 years, you still find stuff. You missing a dog? Yucky horse. Yuck! There he is. There he comes. Boys, try to think. How that lion would hunt when you're trying to chase something runs as fast as a damn cheetah probably want to get up high but it's a lot of flat land uh, she knows how to kill them though she's killed a couple in here a few i figured i don't know maybe it sits up on these little peaks and looks out until you can see them and goes and stalks them in even me being out here as much as i have i hardly see these antelope I, I run into them a couple times but god you can't beat the sound of the desert either birds the quail got a little breeze today too perfect day this is when you think something's gonna go wrong especially when you're out riding by yourself you know got my good mule got my dogs just to stay upright on her not running any smugglers that Want to whack me? I'll be good to go. There's my nemesis. The great Choya. Big old field of it. I, I did bring my pick today. In case my dog could get into it. <clears throat> Just realized I had my camera on super view. Let's we'll see how that turns out. Well, let's see, we got a little Choya in her foot get it we did not make it unscathed through the <laughs> Baka has one right in her chin don't get it out I got to get off the mule and I'm fat I don't want to get back up shake it off oh you got one in your foot too yeah I'm gonna have to dig that out of Baka I think she got like two or three of them get up on this little 
little baby hill here pull out my binoculars that I actually brought this time see if I can't see nothing let's go Eva watch out come through Clickety clack right up these rocks. Out dirty. Come on. Out dirty. Well, it's a, through the binoculars, it's a cool little mirage out there. Really cool. Really cool. It's like a bunch of big trees, but just the humidity is stretching it. I know Brett does a lot of riding alone. He's going to do those long rides, but I, I don't mind riding alone. I tell you what, it's, it's a lot funner when you got someone with you. I used to have a daughter that loved me. Used to go riding with me, but now she's boring. I'd rather stay at home and watch Netflix. Definitely a lot funner when you're riding with somebody. Of course, you have to enjoy the solitude as well. When you ride alone so many times, you kind of crave someone you can chat with while you're riding through the desert. I enjoy the peace. But the last two years I've been working out of town, so I do a lot of things alone. <clears throat> I guess I'll make some tracks. Kind of head to the west and circle back to the east. Dry ground line hunter. They have their mules, they have their dogs, they have their solitude, they have their peace. They also have their loneliness. Travel miles on top of miles looking for that track. It's not like snow hunting for them long tails multiple vehicles, multiple people. It's also not the same as the bear hunting. You'll notice in some of the videos of the bear hunting, there's a lot of people with them. They have all their friends, their family, multiple trucks. When you're out in the desert looking for them lion tracks, you have you, you have your dogs, and you have your mule, or even a horse. If you're fortunate enough to own one, you have your own thoughts and you'll definitely have a lot of time. For centuries, man and their hounds have been working together as a team, as a friendship, as a relationship. And the majority of the time, my dogs are the only friends I have out here. They've probably experienced at one time or another your happiness, your sadness, and your anger. But they stay with you under any and all situations, under any conditions. Your typical dry ground lion hunter, they can do most things on their own. They want to do most things on their own. They are someone who may not spend much time with the other houndsmen, but will lend a hand if needed. Most of the ones I know have a family. They have kids that will be able to take over. They can pass their hound hunting skills on knowledge onto. The houndsmen, or even a houndswoman, we tend to desire 
the solitude, yet crave a few words from the next guy. We crave sitting around a campfire, telling them crazy stories. It's a good life when you can get out in the hills. Whether you're alone, or with friends or family, it's a good feeling to load them hounds up and just get out there and be yourself. Just in my saddle. I feel like it's to the left now. What's crazy is they haven't ran cattle out here for a long time. But there's still the evidence of old cattle trails. I bet you this leads over to that well if you follow this trail all the way out. What's funny is those dogs will follow that trail. Hadn't been nothing on that trail for long long time and them dogs look at sydney runs right up it <laughs> sydney look at this sydney come here come here sydney sydney come here sydney sydney come here take the good old pick quit come here the pam got it get all these stickers out Get all these stickers out. I know, I pulled those hair. Anybody else got any Troya? Everybody's hiding from me? You're being a booger today. Got Troy on your foot and on your back. I just cleaned you up, man. Why can't you just stay out of it? I have to bring my gold pan. Pan all this little crevice right here. See if I can't find some gold. There you go. Jesus, what are we doing under my mule? I wouldn't mind catching line in this little walk. Hey, if you guys get bored with my videos, you can go check out uh, Born 100 Years Too Late. He has some good videos. Same stuff I do. Or I do the same stuff he does, basically. Then you got old George Lambert over there at Mountain Music and Mules. A lot of bear hunting. We don't hold it against them. We get him out here to Arizona, do some lion hunting one day. Yeah, take the hard part. I think when I get a thousand subscribers, if I ever do, I'm inching that way. I think I'm gonna give away a like a weekend ride hunt lion hunt maybe even a bear hunt subscribe once i hit a thousand i'll, I'll probably do like one of them little drawings i'll have people put their name in and i'll give away uh give away a hunt or something throw you on my other mule we'll come out in the desert it's nice and cool maybe camp out or just go for a day ride so don't forget to like and subscribe i'll let you once once i hit that thousand i'll let everybody know and i'll start putting names in that's a fair deal plus you can come see how boring i am in person of course, I don't have no edit person, so forgive me for my sins. <laughs> if you're a winner and have to hang out with me all weekend or a day or a night or whatever you choose, I'm funnier in person. Now we're gonna mosey south here. It's starting to warm up a bit. So I don't wanna get too, uh, you don't want this grass, it's yucky. I don't want to get too uh, deep in the day and then start chasing something, honestly. So we're going to circle south and then circle back to the truck. I think we've already been about four and a half, five miles in the big circle. So by the time I get back, it'll probably be lunchtime.
Then I gotta head north for Easter. Well, we overshot the truck by just a mile or two. The other way. I don't know if I'm more disappointed I didn't find them Sonoran antelope. I don't know what their range is. <coughs> I got up and glassed. Oh, they're real big creatures. Back, leave it. Dead lizard. As dirty as wigging out about it. I don't know if I'm more disappointed I couldn't find them snoring pronghorn or find that lion. Kill him. I think I'm gonna have to come out and find them pronghorns. Find out where they're hanging out. They're still hanging out by this release pin. They're coming in. There's a couple coming in. Not a whole bunch. I'm sure they're not too far from water. Anyway. Figured it'd be good for me to walk a little. Give old Sage a break with my big fat ass on her. Stretch my legs. Well, if you like this video. Hit that little subscribe button over here. If you like my videos, watch this next one. Bear hunting video. Always remember, keep your powder dry. Stay safe out there.